Everyone's talking about how bad this Squid Game token scam that happened a few weeks ago was, where someone created a random Squid Game named Crypto, got millions of dollars of investor money, dumped it all, and ran away with the money. Ow! Oh, it went to zero! Yeah! But no one's talking about how you can pull the same exact scheme, which is the real important question here. I'm joking. You know what? Can I actually have everyone stand up, please? I want the record to show this video is for entertainment, educational, public service announcement type purposes only. Yes, I will be building a real cryptocurrency, meme, greater full theory, Ponzi scheme type token, but it's only to show how easy it actually is and why you can't trust these meme tokens. Fair enough. Okay, I hope that holds up in court. God forbid it gets to that. No, but seriously, I thought to create a cryptocurrency, you need next level coding experience. You need a team. You just got to be an absolute genius. But apparently not. You do for like creating your own blockchain, but at least for these meme tokens that we're seeing pop up everywhere, I did some research and it seems pretty easy. So we're going to try to build one here now. Right. So I watched a couple videos on this and it looks fairly easy and even pretty affordable to launch one of these crypto tokens. The two main videos I'm kind of going to be using and referencing here is this video by Eat the Blocks that goes into a lot of detail and is kind of like the original source for me and then there's this video by full value dan that kind of explains the other video in a way that my tiktok attention span brain can follow along with crypto island i'm just trying to make so the first step here is to choose a network to build our token on i believe the most popular option is building it on ethereum shiba inu is built like that but ethereum has a lot of gas fees and it's just gonna be overall much more expensive to build it on there so instead we're gonna build on the binance smart chain which makes this whole process super cheap so first step is gonna be to buy some bnb on binance so i did that then transferred the bnb to my trust wallet where i swapped it for a binance smart chain token then i created a new network on my metamask wallet to which i sent over the binance smart chain token to okay lots of big words and terminology i just threw around there but what i just did here was set up like the wallets for everything and transferred money into the right crypto tokens to be able to launch something on the binance smart chain you could probably follow this step by step with a tutorial without ever using crypto before but i think at this point we're actually pretty much ready to build up the token so i'm gonna now steal the code from the eat the blocks video i showed earlier he has the code posted on github so easy copy paste there and i'm just gonna have to edit a few fields where it outlines the coin name ticker and total supply now for the name i used a few different research methods i first looked up different animal names looked up different dog breeds and while reading some history behind the Samoyed breed of dog one of the adjectives on the page was the word fluffy which I figured would make for a great doggy related meme coin so that's what I'm thinking of going with here. once I had the name I went on a website called remix.ethereum.org which I guess lets you publish stuff on the blockchain I opened up a blank contract pasted the code I copied and then was able to change the name of the token to fluffy coin going with fluf for the ticker and a 1 billion total coin supply and that was it I then went on the compiler section compiled this contract and after connecting this website to my metamask wallet i hit deploy had to pay i think just under five dollars worth of fees and then the token was launched yeah i mean here we are on bsc scan and we can see this transaction and fluffy coin on the blockchain this coin is published but it's not yet tradable the video tutorial i'm following is saying we have a few more steps to go after deploying this contract i sent 1 billion fluffy coin tokens to my personal metamask wallet and then went on pancake swap which is a decentralized exchange on which you can buy these sketchy meme coins on. On here, I inputted the fluffy coin contract address and provided some liquidity. So I put up about $3,000 worth of BNB for 600 million fluffy coins. And by providing this liquidity into the BNB slash fluff pair, it now became tradable. So people could now buy and sell this token. Okay, ultimate test. I'm gonna go on pancake swap with a different wallet that doesn't have any fluffy coin in it right now and try to exchange some BNB for fluff. And if I did everything right, I should be able to buy some. Now to be able to buy this coin, you need to manually input the contract address into PancakeSwap, which is normal. Most meme coins will have this contract address on the website, but I have the one for mine on hand written down because I, I made the coin. Okay, so pasting that into Pancake, 0.1 BNB currently gets me 11 and a half million fluff token. Let's hit confirm swap. It really worked, 11 and a half million fluff coin right there in my trust wallet. 
We're not done with this project yet though. There's quite a few things left. But if this were an actual like meme type coin I was trying to launch, I wouldn't keep this much of the supply in one personal wallet. You can go on websites like cointool.app, then distribute your holdings into thousands of different wallets automatically. So not only would that boost the number of holders for this coin, which is a great look, but after doing that, you can then say, oh, here's my wallet. I'm the founder and I only have 1% of the total supply. When in reality, you could have a bunch of these wallets that hold another like 40, 50%. You could also do a thing where you have wallets automatically sending coins to each other back and forth to create some artificial volume to make it look like there's interest in your coin and that people are actually trading it. But that's something you do if you're actually trying to scam people. But okay, cool. You made this coin. What's next? Well, now you need to create some hype for your coin. So first up, you're going to need to get your social media looking right. So let's do that. Okay, first step, we need a logo. I'm thinking we do something dog related, maybe even something potentially fluffy. I feel like that'd be fitting. So I went on Google, typed in fluffy dog cartoon, found this stock image, was even an honest man about it and actually paid $12 for it. I then hopped into Photoshop to remove the body of the dog and just make it look a little cuter. I don't think it looks too bad. And I mean, some of the really popular like billions of dollars market cap dog token logos are really not all that. So I feel like this is at least up to par. But now the next step is to create an Instagram and Twitter account for our coin. So I did exactly that. Coin Fluffy was an available username on Instagram and then Fluffcoin for Twitter, made both accounts and then got straight into buying some fake cloud for both of them. On Instagram, I bought a little over 10,000 followers total, about a thousand likes per post and paid for some comments under the photos. And for Twitter, Beheza Corporate was a little stingy with a budget, so I only paid for 3,000 followers and then some retweets and likes on the first tweet of the account. Right, so a few hours later here, pretty much everything is ready to go, so let me show you what everything looks like starting with a website which is not my best work this is just kind of like a quick rough example you go on fluffycoin.org which i'm pretty hyped on that domain and you're greeted with this a decentralized, a decentralized token, token focused, focused on revolutionizing, on revolutionizing web, web 3.0 what is that what does that mean i don't know i'm not even exactly sure what web 3.0 is let alone what a revolution on that would look like but it sounds nice and it's got a bunch of buzzwords in it then you have the contract address right up front and center we have a how to buy step by step kind of tutorial which is the most important part on all of these meme coin websites because if people don't know how to buy your coin how are you gonna pump it up so i did just copy and paste this from someone else's website then very exciting you can meet the team behind fluffy token we have a random corporate man i found off google as the ceo we have t grizzly's mom as the chief operating officer elizabeth holmes as the coo and then also soldier boy a little ridiculous but not far off from what some of these scam websites will do i mean how easy is it to find a random photo on google and and say this person is on your team and we have a disclosure type notice i copied from tech leads million token website he's still not in jail so it must be pretty good anyways moving on we have the instagram a little lazy but i just reposted content from bitcoin and crypto theme pages but with 10,000 followers at least a thousand likes per post and a bunch of comments it, it looks kind of legit and like there's actually some hype around this oh it also said that this was founded by sam satoshi the fake guru we made for a previous video now for the twitter i made the account and put out one tweet saying BRB revolutionizing web 3.0. Again, not even sure what that means, but it sounds nice. Got some buzzwords in there. I also bought some engagement for this account, but it's coming in real slow. So we're only sitting at 200 followers at the moment and about 50 likes on the tweet. And there was even the option to buy fake Twitter replies. So I can buy a bunch of replies saying fluff going to the moon and whatnot. So what are the next steps here? Well, you're gonna wanna start promoting your token through influencers. You start with people with a low following who aren't gonna be too expensive. And then you kind of use that money, reinvest it into some more mid-tier influencers and just keep snowballing until next thing you know, Logan Paul is putting up a story promoting your coin. You can even pay for Reddit engagement and promotion, which usually what you read on Reddit is trustworthy or at least I thought so. Like when I search up how to do something on Google, I'll add Reddit at the end of the search so I get a real response, but apparently you can't even trust that. But realistically, I think the starting point for marketing this would be TikTok crypto influencers. There's a ton of them, not all of them really care about reputation and it also can be difficult for people to monetize TikTok TikTok followings, so these promos won't be too expensive. And TikToks have a lot of viral potential, so you're gonna be getting a lot of bang for your buck there. And again, you kind of snowball the money and build up from there. I'm kind of tempted to actually put some finishing touches on this whole fluffy coin thing and make it actually look legit, like no trolling vibes and see what happens if we pay for some shout outs. You write to jail, believe it or not, jail right away. It wouldn't be ill-intentioned, just kind of a curiosity experiment type thing. 
but this does create a moral dilemma because there's no easy way to refund people who will inevitably end up losing money on this and I'll probably get canceled for it and it might be illegal I don't know I guess let me know ahead of time if I'll get canceled for doing this if not maybe I can make an update video where we try to promote this again I don't know I just hope this video illustrates how ridiculous this whole meme coin thing is yeah you can make money trading them plenty of people have you could also lose all of your money but either way I just think it's important for people to see just how easy it is to spring up one of these crypto tokens hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day peace